French press, I want you to pray before you sit down. If you pray this press and you lose your voice, but you get the breakthrough, you have made a good bargain. Don't negotiate this press at all. Say, designers of grave clothes. Carry your load and die. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let them carry their loads. In Jesus' name we pray. Now take your mind back to the environment where you live. Or environment where you work. Say, environmental altars. Limiting my progress. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the powers that fought the childhood of my parents and are now fighting me. Can you say it with anger? The powers that fought the childhood of my parents and are now fighting me. Shout it loud. Lose your hole and die. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful morning. And we thank you for your people that are brought here, connected to us by your power. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, we are gathered before you here today. Blessings abound where you reign. And those who are in bondage are set free. Your word says, Oh God, that here is prayer. Unto thee shall all flesh come. We are not gathered unto a man. We are not gathered unto a building. We are gathered before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And therefore, as many people as are here, Father, lay your hands upon them in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands, 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 lay your hands upon everyone here in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can you walk up to seven persons and tell them? Say, my friend, any part that does not want to see you shall die by fire. Say to seven persons.
Amen. Amen. Go to some people again. Say, my friend, your harvest shall not fall into the grave. In the name of Jesus. Say to seven persons. God bless you. And listen carefully this morning. We are looking at what I call confronting the spirit of Pisgah. Pisgah is a mountain. Pisca, okay. But it has spiritual implications. Confronting the spirit of Pisca. Let us do a small Bible study of mountains in the Bible and their spiritual significance. You know, I told you, Pisgah is a mountain. There are many mountains in scripture and they all have spiritual significance. Let's do a small Bible study. In Genesis chapter 8 verse 4 Genesis chapter 8 verse 4 we see a mountain called Ararat. Ararat. In Genesis 8.4. And the hack rested in the seventh month. On the seventeenth day of the month. Upon the mountain of Ararat. Mount Ararat was where the ark of Noah landed. Stop his journey. At that Mount Ararat, the ark has stopped being useful. Many lives unfortunately down Mount Ararat they have stopped being useful the ark had finished his business and stayed permanently on that mount many lives are exactly like that this is why I am pronouncing the curse of God upon any power that says you will not be useful in the name of Jesus any power that doesn't want you to be useful shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Or like my interpreter said in worry the last time I was there. I said any power that say you will not have peace shall not have peace. He said the power we say you no go have peace. Their mind no go touch ground. <laughs> when he said their mind no go touch ground, I started thinking about it. 
And it's true, when the mind is hang, hanging like that, can't land. And I'm praying for somebody here. Any power that doesn't want you to have peace. Like he said, their mind not go touch ground in the name of Jesus. Mount Ararat. Then in Deuteronomy chapter 11. Deuteronomy 11 verse 29. This is a very strange scripture. Deuteronomy 11 29. And it shall come to pass when the Lord thy God had brought thee unto the land without thou goest to possess it. That thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim and the curse upon Mount Ebal. There is a mount called Mount Ebal where curses are issued. If the people disobey, that's where the curses will be issued. So technically, it's a mountain of disobedience. A mountain of curses. A mountain of death. A mountain of destruction. Many are on this mountain. They are laboring under curses issued against them. Mount Eba. And it's a disaster. When a man or woman stays on Mount Ebal from the cradle to the grave. When a person is under a curse, you just know you are fighting something. You are fighting the thing. You can't understand it. It's not clear to you. Something is hindering you. But it's not clear what it is that's pushing you away. As the person is under a curse, it's on Mount Heba. Again, I make a pronouncement here this morning. Anybody laboring under any family curse, curse from envious enemies, curse from friends, curse from enemies, let those curses be broken in the name of Jesus. Let our amen roar like thunder. There is a mountain too. Come Mount Horeb. In Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. Verse 1. Exodus 3. 1. And Moses. Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back side of the desert and came to mountain of God, even to Horeb, mountain of God. Moses received the commission to deliver the Israelites on that mountain. Moses experienced the burning bush, the burning bush that burnt with fire but was not consumed on that mountain. Water was brought out of the rock on that mountain. People waited here 
on that mountain why Moses spent 40 days in, on another mountain called Mount Sinai when Elijah fled from Jezebel he went to this particular mountain Mount Horeb. A mount of encounter. A mount of hearing the voice of God. A mount of destiny repair. A mount of destiny redirection. A mount of breakthrough. I pray that this mountain that brings victory will be your lot in the name of Jesus. So it has its own, in fact, they call it the mountain of God. May you be on that mountain in the name of Jesus. Then there is Mount Sinai. In Exodus chapter 19, verse 20. Exodus 19, 20. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mount. And the Lord called Moses up to the top of Man of the mount. And Moses went up. Moses received the ten commandment on that Mount Sinai. It's a mountain that gives discipline. Direction. Then there is Mount of Hall. In Numbers chapter 20, I'm reading from verse 25. Numbers 20, 25. Take Aaron. And Eliezer, his son, and bring them up onto Mount Hall. And strip Aaron of his garments and put them upon Eliezer, his son. And Aaron shall be gathered unto his people and shall die there. Mount Or was where Aaron was derobed. It's a mountain of demotion and death. There Aaron was derobed and there he died. Then there is Mount Gerizim, which we've read. We read it before in Deuteronomy 11:29. Mount Gerizim. We we'll read it again. 11:29. Deuteronomy 11:29. And it shall come to pass when the Lord thy God had brought thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount. Gerizim. Mount Gerizim is where blessings of Israel were pronounced. Blessings are pronounced on that mountain. And it's a great thing to be on the mountain of blessings. Then there is Mount Gilboa. In First Samuel chapter 31. First Samuel chapter 31. I'm reading from verse 1. First Samuel 31. From verse 1. 
Now the Philistines fought against Israel. And men of Israel fled from before the Philistines. And fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. Mount Gilboa was where Saul was defeated by the Philistines and killed along with Jonathan his son. It's a mountain of destruction and death. Mountains where visions and callings are buried. Many are on such mountains. Then there's Mount Camel. Mount Camel. In First Kings 18, 19. First Kings 18, 19. Elijah. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Camel. And the prophets of Baal 450 and the prophets for the groups 400 which eat at Jezebel's table. Mount, Mount Camel was where Elijah challenged the priests of Baal and won. It was on that mountain fire fell for the first time in scripture. This is the mountain we ought to be. Where fire destroys all our enemies. There are many more mountains in the Bible, but we don't have time. That is Mount Olive, where Jesus wept for Jerusalem. That is Mount Moriah, where Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac. But those are not our interests. Our interests. This one is Mount Pisgah, which takes us straight away to Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 27. 3. Deuteronomy 3, 27. Get thee up into the top of Pisgah. And lift up thy eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward and behold it with thine eyes for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. Thou shall not go over the Jordan. Eventually, in Deuteronomy 34, that is that was where Moses himself was buried. God took Moses to that mountain. Look at the east. Look at the west. Look at the north. Look at the south. Look at the land that I said I will take you to. Just look at it. So, but you will not get there. The spirit of peace guy is a powerful spirit which has destroyed so many people. Moses was able to see the promised land but was not allowed to enter into it. The spirit of peace guy is when you come close to seeing your dream and vision being fulfilled but you don't achieve it. Somebody has been playing football, playing football, playing football. Now his team had entered into the final of the football. 
Maybe even World Cup final, your the team has entered. But here is this man, very good player. His team had gotten to the final. He saw them getting there, but now he had been injured. So because of the injury, he cannot play. That is the peace gospel. A nurse was about to marry. And that day, they rushed somebody to the hospital. As, as she closed duty and was going home, they begged this nurse to attend to the person. He said, no, 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 I'm going to be outside my ship, I'm going away. And the next nurse has not come, please do something before the doctor comes. I must go home. She did not offer that care. Only for her to discover later that the man they rushed to the hospital was the man she was to marry next Saturday. If she had offered that little help, perhaps the man would have lived. But the man died. One week, the marriage, the man died. That is the spirit of Pisgah. The spirit of Pisgah is what comes upon a man. On the day that his promotion was announced, that money he died. He never enjoyed that. He saw it, but he never got it. So the spirit of peace guy is a terrible spirit. It's not the kind of spirit to play with. It's affecting so many people. Just like Moses, they gaze at the promised land. But they don't gain entrance. Different people have different kinds of peace guys. And you need to pray hard. The spirit of Pisgah stays at the front of some people. Some it stays behind them. They will be visible and also invisible. The spirit of Pisgah can relay a person and can trip up a person, can instigate anything against a person, can oppress a person. The best modern day description of the spirit of peace God is the spirit of almost there. Almost there, but not there. The, far, the foolish virgins they were prepared to meet the bridegroom in, in March 25. They were prepared. They had oil in their lamps. Both groups heard the voice of the bridegroom. One group got in a small omission kept the other group out. Now the terrible voice now sounded unto them. I know you not. This is a serious matter. Those people they were Mr. and Mrs. almost there. Brother and sister almost there. Why Jesus turned so many people away? Who will have been his followers? He gave one man an open invitation. He said, come and follow me. In Matthew 19. Jesus turned to some people and said, I want to follow you. He said, no, go, go back to your people. But this man said, come. 
But this man, because of his, you know, say, okay, yes, yes, I'll follow you. Okay. <laughs> so go and sell everything that you have. Give it to the poor. Come and follow me. The man shook his head. He preferred his wealth to eternal life. He almost got in but he did not get there. He knew all the theories in his head almost got in did not get there. Lazarus was close very close to that rich man rich close enough to be eaten under his table the rich man did not listen the rich man probably thought that well when you get to heaven God will arrange all the VIPs at the front and all the poor people at the back <laughs> he thought that the cream of the society on earth will also be the cream of the society in heaven <laughs> forgetting that God's arithmetic is even from us Lazarus head below his table he lies Landed in hellfire, Lazarus was in heaven. So, so there is an array of Mr. and Mrs. almost there in the Bible. For the five foolish virgins, they had insufficient oil in their lamp. That's the danger of a life that is not spirit filled. For the rich young ruler who will have been a disciple of Jesus, worldly possession blinded the spiritual eyes. There is a danger in worshipping the idol of money and material possession. The people who turn down the vision of Jesus, they turn it down because ignorance had eaten them up. This is a serious matter. In my primary school in those days, the procedure was like this. At 7 30 in the morning, they jingle the bell. And once they jingle the bell, the command is that every student must come out and begin to walk all over the school compound singing a song and picking pieces of paper pieces of paper pieces of paper lying on the ground lying on the ground make that school untidy pick them up pick them up it is compulsory. You sing that song and move around and start picking pieces of paper. At 7.30. At 7.30. At 7.45, the second bell will ring. Once that second bell rings, the school band will begin to play their drums. All this time, the gate still remains open. Immediately is 8 a.m. Dead master waves and stops the band. And the gate is closed. Everyone that arrives at the gate, after the gate has closed, becomes a late comer. In those days, immediately you are close, moving close to school and you hear the band playing. Everybody starts running because you know immediately that music stops. You become a late comer. One day I didn't leave the house on time. When it was a bit close to the school, I began to hear the music of the band. Bam, 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 the drama stopped. The gate closed. On my face, like this, 
I was almost in. But that day, I still received 12 strokes of the king and cut grasses for being late. Listen to me, beloved, very well. That nobody will climb the hill of the Lord without effort. There is no glory without violence. A man or woman who is almost saved will still go to hellfire. A landlord who almost bolted the door at night will still have visitation by the chief. A prisoner condemned to death who was almost pardoned will still get hanged. A man that fell into the river and who was almost saved will still drown. A, a ship that was sinking that is almost saved will still sink. A fire that was almost extinguished will still destroy the house. A person who almost decided to give to Christ will still land in hellfire. A person who almost almost received the Holy Spirit is still lacking oil in Islam. A person who almost joined the Lord's work is still guilty of not joining. You may be wearing the same shoe, the same suit as a man of God, you still go to hellfire if you don't get him. Therefore, the first thing this morning is to plead with all the brother and sister, Mr. and Mrs. almost there here. That you should push the spirit of procrastination aside, which has pushed many people to hellfire. I say, I intend to go, I intend to join. I'm thinking about joining. I, I feel like participating. These are the languages, languages of almost there. So almost there is not there. Almost getting the answer is still wrong. Almost calling goes to not win a match. These are the tactics that the enemy has employed to many people. A lot of people stay at the border of their breakthrough because of this spirit of Pisgah. What are the symptoms? You need, to, you need to deal with this spirit. Anger. You still have anger in your spirit? You are writing a letter. To the spirit of Pisgah. What made Moses not to enter the promised land? The spirit of anger. So you can't go there. Unbelief. It's a spirit of Pisgah. Secret sin. Think nobody sees you. Yes. Do what you want. It's a spirit of Pisgah. Addiction. Spirit of Pisgah. You are experimenting with drugs in secret. Spirit of Pisgah. Stubbornness. Resentment. Disobedience. Rebellion to God. This is the spirit of Pisgah. We will make the person to behold the promise. But not appropriating that blessing. Fear. Worry. Anxiety. All those are spirit of Pisgah. Not praying. Not reading the Bible. All these are spirits of Pisgah. 
you have to seriously pray this morning to dismantle the spirit many will have been great and they have seen the greatness in their dreams but the spirit guy will say well you can see it but you are not going there many have seen revelations and visions of where God is taking them but they find that their real life is different from what they are seeing in the spirit the spirit of Pisgah they make a person to see goodness of the land but never tasting that goodness Bow down your heads, beloved. Bow down your heads. But you see, if you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly before the prayers we are going to start now. So wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I'm tired of seeing good things but not appropriating them. And you want to surrender your life to Jesus. Jesus. Get up from that seat and find a way to the altar here very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you here. Those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. Just say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. I've surrendered their lives to Jesus. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me. I know a brother many years back. He had trouble. Trouble. Lost his job. His wife's shop was demolished. Children sent out of school. Everything was upside down. Borrowed and borrowed and borrowed and borrowed. Until no one was willing to give him money. One day he came to his wit's end. He was tired of being tired. He was sick of being sick. A cry to the Lord in the prayers. I want you to cry to the Lord now. As he cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. Prayed the prayers and slept. And he had a dream. He saw himself in a beautiful place. Fantastic mansion. And he saw a man looking exactly like him. Like his photocopy. But he was more comfortable, looks fatter, looks more looks happier. I was at the front of that house and there was an angel by his side so you are crying say so yes so, but that's you me? I know so I don't, I don't have this kind of house I don't have this kind of comfort so, but that is you but the fact that that is you does not mean that you will get there the fact that God opens the windows of heaven and pour blessings down does not mean you will get it. The Bible says a great door and effectual is open unto me. Great door, effectual, open. Say, but 
there are many adversaries. At the gate of the promised land, at the gate of the blessings of people, there is an array of wicked spirits. Saying this is how far you can go. We are not going further. Nobody crosses this line. Where you come from. So you have been born into a deficit. Continue with your deficit. That's why you need to pray this prayer with all the forces in you. Don't say, I think I've prayed it before. Pray it under the anointing here this morning. And see what is going to happen. That I say, I will not go far. Jesus. Makate sete la kaya bo shenteriba. That's better. I want you to try more. Because your cry to heaven has opened the heavens. Let that heaven continue to be open as you pray like this. Pass of Mount Pisgah. I am not your candidate. Can you shout this loud? That voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Right there where you are standing. I'd like you to do some very quick thinking. Think about your father. How comfortable was he? Think about your grandfather. Think about your mother. How did she die? What happened to her? Did she enjoy her destiny? Think about your grandmother. Begin to think about these things. And this is why, with boiling anger, I want you to shout like this Glory, killer! In my foundation! Shendera Bosanta, Ribosapole Kaya Boshente, Dakate Lakaya Boshente.
Jesus. Jesus. Akaya Bushente. Dekitengera Bosoto. Akaya Bushente. Yes. Yes. See what is happening now. See what is happening now. Both expected and unexpected breakthroughs is manifesting now. Powers! Signing my life to yearly battles. Can you shout it loud? You are not angry now. Yes. 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 The brethren of Joseph. They said, Let us kill him. Not outsiders. Inside us. Let us kill him. And then we shall see what will become of his dreams. Let us kill him and see what shall become of his dreams. I'm praying for somebody here. The vampires of darkness are assigned to drink the blood of your virtue with a sevenfold amen. I command them to die in the name of Jesus. Silence. Something is going to happen. Certain things will lift away from some people as I make this pronouncement. Those powers wasting your yearly blessings. Every year they waste it. They've been going about with you. They have, they have made a huge mistake by following you here this morning. Yes, they are the party. They are the party. They are the party. That's the first person. That's the second person. That's the third person. That's the fourth person. That's the fifth person. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, they are the party. If you are that brother here, your own father said he would destroy you. If you are that woman here, and your own mother said she would destroy you, find a way to this altar and pray like a mad prophet. This is not a money to negotiate. This is a money to strike out with all the force that you have. Everybody will shout this again loud and clear. Powers! Walking against my next 
level. You are a lad. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. That person over there, the powers assigned to use your dream life to waste your life is coming out of you now. They are planning to put you to shame. But God has decided to make shame a stranger in your life. Every good thing you've wanted to do and some forces are keeping you away from doing them. Those forces, the spirit of almost death, the spirit of near success syndrome is being separated from you now. Separated. 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 In the name of Jesus. The power of God is about to fall on 23 persons. These 23 persons have the same thing in common. Your pictures have been taken to the covers, to the shrines. Right there where you are, the consequences of this picture taken away has been cancelled now. And those powers sent to wake up problems that are dead. I command the powers to die in the name of Jesus. Any power offering sacrifices to strengthen your enemies both the powers and the enemies shall die violently in the name of Jesus. And any power assigned to destroy your garment of blessings shall die this morning in the name of Jesus. One more prayer before you sit down. Powers that wants me to see good things but not getting it. Those are the enemies of greatness. Can I hear the sisters shouting this? Sister, is that the loudest you can say this one? Brothers, can you roar like thunder? Before I leave this place, death! 
Bakaposatia, Ribo Sepela Kaya Boshenderaba, Ribo Sepila Kata, Barida Katenda Katela Kaya Boshenderabo Santa. Jesus name we pray. The Mount Pisgah Spirit in the foundation of anyone here. I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's rise to our fifth place. I want you to bring one prayer request before the Lord. Something you want the Lord to do before the next Sunday. Talk to the Lord yourself now. One prayer request. Speak to the God that answered it by fire. The God who knows no impossibility. I speak unto you by the Spirit of God that beginning from this morning service the greatness set before you that God has ordained for your life any power spirit personality force program association that is against your achieving that greatness I bury them in the name of Jesus I bury them 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 let your ever rule like thunder I bury them in the name of Jesus I bury them in the name of Jesus And all those unfriendly friends that have been mocking you behind you, they shall celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. And so they shall celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. The houses they say you will never build. The places they say you will never get to. The testimony they say you will never have. Your marriage they say will never happen. Right there where you are. Receive divine favor. So achieve all of this in the name of Jesus. Receive the favor. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Let your amen be the loudest. Receive it. 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 Let your amen roar like thunder. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Your testimonies shall shock your friends and surprise your enemies. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord bless you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. And as you position yourself to enter into another month, bless you will never depart from your life. Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. Lay your hands upon your people. This week shall be a week of blessing for you. A week of breakthrough. A week of joy. There shall be no loss. In the name of Jesus, it is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let us share the grace in fellowship. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord.
Să-i faci la șoară și pe râmă ca asta de tine. Și oară. Și oară. Și oară. Și oară. Și oară. Și oară. Forever, forever. Seven glorious hallelujah, let's go. Hallelujah.